Check it out, check it out. After a long anticipated wait, the 600 pieces of the pre-order have finally arrived. After Sarah and I pack all these up, I'm headed straight to the airport to pick up Andrew, who's flying in from San Diego, and we're gonna go straight to the crabbing grounds. Even though 90% of these colors aren't available anymore, if you miss the pre-order, you can still go to the website and pick up a t-shirt. We've got a couple stock colors we're gonna keep. And if you don't wanna miss the next pre-order, you can also sign up for the email list and you'll be notified if there ever is another pre-order. Well, this is what 400 plus orders looks like. Yeah, this pre-order, it was a success, I would say, but we learned a lot. If we ever do this again, it'll be a lot more smooth. Now, I think Andrew is waiting for me at the airport. Now, I've known Andrew since freshman year of high school. We used to go fishing all the time after football or basketball practice back in the day. You guys do this too? Fill up gas from your boat and your car at the same time? So I'm picking up Andrew from the airport and we're gonna go crabbing. He's never been crabbing before and he's never caught a halibut before. So if we can do that, that would be an amazing day. And after that, we're gonna head up to the new land that I bought. I'm excited to show you a small tour of this new land that's partially for you guys in the future once I get it all nice and ready. The animated or live action? Animated. And then the song came on at the end. Uh, let's see. Who sings it? 98 Degrees. Remember the song? It's just been oh, stuck yeah. in my head. Julia! Say you in it, Julia! Like that? Yeah, you hell remember? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> the song just stuck in my head like non stop. Julia! You must be Julia! This way the hands will go I've been looking for this milk fish for the longest time because I had so much luck with it and they finally had it. So I got three milk fish and these were $3.99 a pound. And that's what the milk fish looks like, kind of like a mullet. But they had something right next to it which were 99 cents a pound for an entire fish. I don't know what they are but they haven't been bled, they haven't been gutted. So I can just cut them up and I know they got all their guts and the blood in here and that'll just trickle out nice. I think each fish will just do like three or four slices on each just to get the scent sent out there. Man, I totally forgot. Andrew has been crabbing. We went crabbing together. Uh, do, did we make a video that day? No. No, okay, okay. We did get limits though. Hopefully get limits again today. I think it's very possible. Pot number one with the camera today. It looks clear enough. So I'm trying to use all leaded line. I got six with leaded line and then one with the poly. The poly floats, so we're gonna save that one last and maybe go a little deeper with it so it's not a hazard for any boats that come by. But I don't think there's really gonna be any boats coming by today. Putting Andrew to work. Nice. We'll be back with 20 crab in about two hours. Well, while we wait, just like last time, I'm gonna give halibut trolling a try. So beautiful out here. I've got two buckets out drifting behind the boat and that's slowing us down from 2.5 to 1.8. Wow, look at this parachuter right there. See that guy right there on the cliff? Oh, yeah. Two of them. 
Parachuter, is that the name of it? change spots for fishing but we're while we're heading back we're gonna check that first trap so I'm thinking if we get three crabs three on that one then we'll keep pulling them because okay. seven traps right three crabs 21 if each has three and then we'll keep going okay. until one doesn't have three All right. All right. this is the one with the camera we're pulling up to it Andrew's gonna pull this one in you remember how to do it yeah Do it, see what we got. Oh, heavy, huh? A little yeah. heavy. I love when that motor struggles a bit. I know there's some crab in there. Oh, I, I, I'm gonna say three at least. At three. least. Oh, there's a couple. All right, we'll, we'll start fishing again. Well, what do you know? Andrew brought his in and he got a lingcod. First ever lingcod. Not what we were going after, but still cool. That's the first buoy. We're passing that one since we pulled it. We'll pull that one last. All right, we're gonna kind of do some teamwork here. Andrew's gonna pull it up and I'm gonna organize the line as we go. Here we go. Pink. Nah. Nah. No. Oh no. Females. So one thing I was thinking, oh well, someone commented this that the commercial limit is six and a quarter. Sport fishing is five and three quarters, so you would think there would be some in that little range. Man, now I just want some for dinner and then some for Andrew to take home. Keeper, can't even keep no keeper females either. What the heck? I guess that's just how it goes. Unfortunately, sometimes we're at the same spot that I got eight in two pots last time, last week, but they're not here anymore. You guys think I'm just in a spot that's kind of overfished? Or maybe it's the bait? Not even on. Yeah. All right, this is the last one. I was thinking it's about time for me to say something uplifting, but I got nothing. <laughs> got nothing today. Maybe. No. Maybe no. No. I guess all you could do is laugh. Is 
Well, it was good fishing with you, Andrew. <laughs> All right, we gotta go head up to the land. We'll see what's up over there. It'll be a nice relaxing adventure. the land I was telling you about. Got a bunch of acreage in California. All wild. There's bobcats, black bears, mountain lions I've seen out here. Turkeys, squirrels, rabbits. Got these little air guns. We can shoot them and cook them. Do a catch and cook rabbit out here. So that thing that I just biked to, that is one of the first campsites that I'm making. I'm going to turn this into a smallish campground that it would be amazing if you guys came out and camped with me. I'm going to have a huge fire pit, community fire pit in the middle. Oh man, it's nice here. Let's just take a walk. All right, let's walk around so you can just see what I'm working with. And if you ever want to come out to California, if you're not from the state, go to my website. And there'll be a pop-up that comes up and asks you if you want to subscribe to the email list. And if you do subscribe, I'll send out a notification when the campgrounds are ready. But man, yeah, this is a, I'm losing my breath already. There's a lot of work to do on this land, but this is it. So hopefully I can see you guys soon out here. It'd be so cool. We can go camping, we can go fishing. Yeah. This is a really nice change of pace. Oh, and there is a new YouTube channel. It's going to be called A Man and His Land. There's no videos on it yet, but if you want to subscribe to it, I'm going to start posting there once I start working on this land. Oh, it's like altitude sickness or something. We're way up here. Huh. All right, peace, y'all. I'm glad you could watch it to the end and get to see this new chapter. New chapter.